Getting your first client or let alone multiple clients can be quite a struggle. That's why I'm not going to bullshit around with stupid useless tips, but I'm going to give you something that actually works. But that means you actually have to do something for it. Every step contains questions you can answer. The outcome of the answers lets you know if you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong. So if you want to book clients, let's go to the first step. First step, camera and other equipment. Do you have a suitable camera for the work you want to make? You should at least have two cameras so when one breaks, you have another one. Do you have the right lenses to make the kind of photos you like? The choice of your lens determines the outcome of your photo. For wedding photography, you need a normal angle lens, like around 35 millimeters, and a lens that is about 50 millimeters, or a zoom lens, like higher than 50 millimeters, like 85 or 70. Do you have a flash, a speed light? Wedding photography without a flash is, is just not possible. So make sure you have a flash that's suitable for photographing weddings. Do you have enough batteries to photograph a full wedding day? Without batteries, no photos. Invest in batteries, make sure you have an amount of batteries that can last a whole wedding day. Do you have all the peripherals and accessories you need for a wedding day? For example, uh, the harness where you can hang your cameras from. Do you have a good camera bag that's easy to carry around? Do you have ND filters, polarization filters where you get harsh sunlight and you can block out the harsh sunlight? Step two, software. Do you have editing software like Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom? I'm assuming you have both Photoshop and Lightroom classic. That's the best version of Lightroom. Do you have a photo selection software like Photo Mechanic or Adobe Bridge? It's not a must, but it makes your life as a photographer way, way easier. Do you have software to make wedding albums like PicTime or Pixaloo Smart Albums? So you can make beautiful wedding albums because that makes you money. Step three, your own style. It's, it's getting a little bit more diff difficult. Have you developed your own style? Having your own style as a wedding photographer is crucial. Your style is made up of, let's say, five factors. First, the way you naturally look at the world. Two, your USPs, so your uni unique selling points. That makes, that's, those are the points that make you very unique as a photographer, that set you apart from the others. Three, your settings of your camera. Four, the way you edit. Five, um, the way your perfect customer sees you. If you haven't yet mastered these factors, you need to work on this. Are you satisfied with your own style? If not, develop your own style. Are your cameras and lenses set up for your style of photography? Are the presets of your Lightroom matching with your camera setup? So in other words, does the preset complement your photos? Step four, backup system. Do you have a backup solution for your photos at home? The best backup solution is a 3-2-1 backup system. If you don't have it, you should dive into that and make sure you have a 3 to one backup system. Do you have a backup system in your camera? Like a dual memory slot so your camera can save the photos to a double uh, memory card. If you don't have the money for it, buy a lot of memory cards so you can switch them up during the day. So if you lose a memory card, like the data, you, you only lost like a couple of hours but not the whole wedding day. Five, your portfolio. Do you have enough images to fill up your portfolio? Do you have enough images in your portfolio that Shows, you, shows the world who you are as a photographer. Are you satisfied with your portfolio? That's very important. Is it something you really like? Also, does your portfolio show what you want to sell? Is your portfolio spread out over the internet? Think of social media, blogs, TV, uh, other vendors that use your photos on their website. Spread your photos as much as you can. If you don't have enough photos for your portfolio, I would recommend starting to do free photo shoots or styled shoots so you get a portfolio which shows people what you can do. The most important part is that you have something to show. If you don't have something to show, you won't, do, you won't sell any weddings. Do you have a website? Make sure your website is created to fit clients you need. So look at it from their perspective. Is your website clear and very simple? Does your website have a very simple contact form? Does your website um, have the USPs you thought about? So your unique selling points, are they coming true on your website? Are your rates on the website? I'm a big fan of putting rates on the website so people know what you, uh, what you cost. Especially when you're a beginning photographer, when you get more expensive, people don't really care what you cost, but when you're a little bit cheaper, just put your rates on the website, it's so much easier for you. So that brings us to step seven, pricing and packaging. Have you calculated your break even points? Calculate the costs for a year to run your business so you know what your break even point is. Have you determined your rates? Have you determined your rates using a break even point? Do you have a wedding album supplier for your package, for your complete package? Have you created any packages? Create a very simple package so a client comes to you 
and immediately can see what you're offering. If the website is complicated, if the packaging is complicated, you're complicated. Step eight, application and marketing. Are you receiving any applications? Now, I guess not because that's why you're watching the video. You should go to the steps before because every step is very important. So make sure your marketing is in order. Spread your work over the internet. Make sure everybody sees your work every day every day do you have a strategy about your marketing do you have a strategy to grow your business have you determined what your target market is have you determined who your perfect customer is so there's a lot of questions and maybe you're thinking i don't know but that stuff you have to think about because if you think about it and you know the answer you have a very clear vision of what you want to do and how you're going to do it step nine booking do you have a quotation system in order have you created a clear quotation that does not raise any questions of your clients. Do you have a general terms of conditions for your clients? If you don't have them, I would create them as soon as possible because it can prevent future discussions with your clients. Also tell your clients you have those so they can look into it and there's no discussion. They can ask questions before, you're, uh, before they book you. And the last step, step 10, is very simple, have fun. The most important step is to have fun. Remember, it's not the destination, but the journey that's the most fun. So. Go have some fun and have trust in what you do. The only way to get it working is to trust yourself and what you do and plant little seeds while you're working and they give them water. So invest in that every day and you will get better and you will book your first client. But you have to get your steps in order. They, they look like very simple steps, but if you go back in the video, you're gonna write them down, you're gonna check them out. It can cost a lot of work. But that's why not a lot of people are professional photographers because it takes a lot of work. It's not simple to become, but once you are, you know how it works and it becomes easier, I can tell you. <laughs> but I can imagine you have a lot of questions about the steps and uh, the content of the, those steps. So feel free to ask me in the comments about a step and I can point you in the right direction. I can tell you what you can do. Um, if not, just go work really, really hard. Get early out of bed, do what you gotta do to make it work. And if you wanna see more of my work, even my editing tips or more tips like these or behind the scenes, just check out my channel and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.